what's going on guys? Welcome back to Gotti's Garage. Now as the title states in this video, I'm gonna show you how to shim a oil pump on a Honda engine. But before you watch that, check out the first video of this series, uh, us tearing down the B-series engine looking for a compression issue. And I'll put the link right up here on top of the screen for you guys. Also, my Instagram is right here, go follow me. Also, hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up button because it helps me out a lot. Now to the point, we're in the process of stripping down the engine right now to repaint it and stuff like that. So if my camera lady can check out the engine. We got the whole engine sanded. This is all gonna be a different video, but uh, once she gets done with that oil pump, which is right here, once she's done sanding that, I'm gonna pull that off. She's gonna finish sanding the rest of it while I make the video of shimming the uh, oil pump. So stay Tuned. Tuned. <laughs> right, so what you're gonna do is take out these 10 millimeter bolts. And also, get yourself an Earthquake XT electric ratchet from Harbor Freight for $177. Mm, it wasn't that expensive. No, it wasn't? It no, was wait, that was, that was Milwaukee, so $129.99, right? $95. So. Alright guys, so this is the oil pump off the engine. Now if you flip it over backwards, you see that you got this plate right here. Uh, you want, if You don't have to, but if you want to check everything inside, make sure that your pump is good and everything like that, you can pull this plate off. All it is is six uh, Phillips head screws. You want to make sure you got a nice bit because you don't want to strip these out. Um, before we do all this actually, because this is your oil pump, which is a pretty critical part of your engine. So you want to take some of this brake clean. Definitely going to want to watch out a little bit. And then you want to make sure you spray all this off. You want everything as clean as possible. A right, nice thing about brake clean is it. Oh God, I probably splashed in here. I'm sorry. Oh, that burned my skin. Nope. I wash my hands and breathe clean. If you ever cut though, it really hurts. So you wanna make sure you clean everything off as good as possible. Like I said, I like to use brake clean. I'm gonna pull all these little Phillip screws out. So we got this uh, RTV right here. We're gonna to wanna to pull out. Probably do that after though. So when this top lid comes out, you got a spring in here and that's what you're actually, we're actually gonna be shimming. So what happens is uh, you rev your engine up and this thing spins and stuff and once it starts building enough pressure, the spring opens and starts putting out oil pressure. Well, what the shim does is you put shims in there so it's harder for the spring to open so more PSI comes out of your oil pump. Right here we got these washers. Uh, these were a little too big so I, oops. Do you see it? These two were a little big, so I did uh, uh, grind them down a little bit with the angle grinder. Um, these actually measure. So I read a thing on a um, Honda form, and uh, at five millimeters, a five millimeter shim, which was for him five washers, that was. Uh, at 7,000 RPM was about 130 PSI of oil pressure, which is pretty good. And what we have right here is upside down. So we got about four and a half millimeters. So we should be at like 110 PSI at 7,000 RPM, which is dope. Especially with turbo motors and stuff like that. Uh, anything really, too much PSI is never, you know, you, you can't have too much PSI. Okay, so. We're gonna spray all this down with a uh, brake clean as well. But on this back side right here, you got this Allen key, which is a T55. And you pull that out, but you gotta be careful because the spring has a lot of tension in there. So once you pull this out, the spring is gonna try to pop out. But we're gonna um, wash this off real quick. Try not to splash everything, but. Make 
sure all your, you know, seals stay in there. See, it's all nice and clean. It's all you want. You just want everything to be nice and clean. And brake clean evaporates really quick, so I mean, once you dump all the puddle out and stuff like that, it won't be long before it's all not there anymore. When I get all this art. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and pull this spring out real quick. We don't have to do anything in there. If you wanna check your clearances right here to make sure everything's good, you can, but I'm not gonna do that, because this is practically a brand new uh, oil pump. Um, if you also, if you want to, you could port them out so you get a little bit higher and stuff like that, but I'm not gonna port anything, we're just gonna shim it. Oops, see, just like that, it comes out pretty rough. We're gonna break clean everything that comes out and goes back in. So what we wanna do is, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the uh, washers like right on here. So they're gonna go just like that. And it's gonna be a kind of a bitch to put that back in there, but we're gonna get all this brake cleaned real quick. I got a cut on my hand, so we're gonna feel this. Oh yeah, I feel it. Nothing like cancer. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it fucking hurts. <laughs> We're gonna do it again. You know, if I was intelligent, I could just use the other hand because there's no cuts on the other hand, but. See that cut? Oh yeah. Look how clean that is. Oh, oh yeah. when I spread it, it hurts even more. I love it. Okay. All right, so. I'm gonna go ahead and put this spring back in there like so. There's four and a half millimeters of shim right there. We're gonna stick this in here without anything going wrong. Okay. I got that either. I think my arm was up. That's okay. All right, now, now the bolt's back in. It's not too tight. Um, it's gonna be harder for this uh, spring to push this little piston back to allow oil flow to go through the engine, which in return allows more oil pressure. And that is the whole point of shimming the oil pump. So you get more oil PSI, so it gets through the engine faster. Yeah, now the good part about me doing this is you guys aren't gonna be able to see if it works until after this engine and everything's built. So, what I want you to do is go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you're just watching this video for this to see if it works, hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell notification. That way when the video pops up, first start up, we can check the oil pressure and you guys can see if it works. Have a great day and make sure, hit this like, hit the thumbs up button.